Okay, okay, welcome to another episode of City Skylines with me, Garrett's Indie Gaming, and we're back in Lake Valley for our third episode. So in the last episode, we expanded on some of the lovely areas that we built in our first episode, and we built this big new residential area that we're going to have to keep expanding in this episode as well as you can see down there in the lower right hand corner we have more need for residential that we're going to have to take care of but something that i want to do in this episode that i think is going to be pretty fun is public transportation specifically trams yep i'm thinking i'm putting down some trams i think that's going to be pretty fun which means changing up some roads putting down some tracks and connecting up these areas with some lovely routes and I'm gonna show you guys how that's done and hopefully you guys can pick up some tips from how I do it and that'll be fun as well another thing that we're gonna put down is the inner city bus station what that does is that will bring citizens from other cities to our city usually just uh, tourists and stuff but also a lot of people will move in on those buses so what I'm thinking is that we're going to set up a little uh, kind of public transportation hub right over here with the inner city bus station right here and then like the tram depot right nearby oh that's the trolley bus depot the tram depot right nearby and have a tram line that uh, starts right nearby the inner city bus station so that way the citizens can get around quite easily so the first thing that I want to do is I want to bring this road down here connect it up to the highway so that way they have more ways in and out of the city helps the traffic helps bring more people into the city and it's just good all around so let's go ahead and get started on some fun building Alright, and there's our highway connection over here. That should be nice. Let's go ahead and turn off the traffic light and turn up the traffic flow. Alright, and then over here we're going to have to build more residential area. And something we unlocked in the last episode was the high density residential area. So we're going to go ahead and use that to satisfy our needs pretty quickly. Let's go ahead and build up some areas. So I've created a separate little zone within this zone, kind of on the outside of this zone, because what I'm planning on doing for our high density residential buildings over here is I'm going to make them self-sufficient. They use a little bit less water and a little bit less power, but they're still high density. And I like the way that the buildings look. They're some of my favorite high density buildings in the game, though I do like some of the uh, the plain assets that you get in like the unspecified zones I guess so we'll let that build in and let that satisfy the needs of our citizens turn the speed up to three and then we start building that lovely transportation little area over here that I was talking about So let's pause the game and let's put down our buildings starting with the inner city bus station and I'm going to put it on this side right here so that way they 
can get in and out of there pretty quickly and easily. Uh, and they might be able to use this uh, square here to turn around. But we'll see how easily that is for them once they start coming in. And then we're going to put our trams down over on this side. And let's put it down like this. And then we're going to have to upgrade some of our roads. And we can do that from the little public transportation menu. We'll go ahead and upgrade those roads. Let's build a path that connects across here for the inner city bus station so they get out here and they can walk through here and then I'm probably going to put a step down pretty close to here so let's start building some tram tracks Put a little roundabout over here so that way they have a nice easy place to turn around oh. you know, let's just do this free form let's see if we can bust out a decent circle really quickly That's good enough. And then we connect it up like that. And the good thing about these paths, or these tracks, is that they also have uh, sidewalks. They have sidewalks. Sorry, my brain was booting there for a moment, and I had to think. All right, now we're gonna keep upgrading our roads, uh, and we're gonna build some tracks around the place so that way this area has a loop this area has a loop and yeah it'll be pretty sweet i think let's get to it Whoopsie, I got a little excited there. I did not mean to upgrade those roads to that. So I guess while we're upgrading roads, we can just make these roads with trees because that'll make some people happy. Anyways, back to the trams. Okay, we have our loops. Let's go ahead and set up our roots. And the trams are rolling out. 
There they go. All right, so let's explain the tram routes. So I have one here. Oh, son of a gun. So before I explain the tram routes, let me put down some more power. I'm just gonna put down some windmills up on this hill, since this seems like a nice windy spot. Yes, that is satisfactory for everybody. So, as I was saying before I was so rudely interrupted by the needs of my citizens, how rude, uh, we have a route that comes from here, which is the main stop. Right now it's gonna be a little blocked up as the trams all leave from this one tram depot to go all throughout the city. Anyways, so we have one route that comes from here to here, which is our new residential area, Cooper Square. So it stops here and stops here. So it's just a nice little back and forth. And then there's another loop that comes from here to here, just a nice little back and forth loop. So citizens can come from here, go to here, transfer over here. It wouldn't be quicker than driving over here or walking over here. But what they can do is they can transfer there, transfer here, and then take another a lovely route that comes up to here, Magnolia Park. So there's another stop up here in the commercial area up here. And then there's a, a stop that will take you all the way up to this lovely spot all the way up here. Which reminds me, I'm going to put a couple of stops down along the way if I can grab the right. There we go. So I want to make sure that everybody has nice access to these tram routes. So there's a tram route that comes from the commercial area up here, from here to here, and you can come from here back to Magnolia Park, or you can take the tram from here over to the industrial area. There's a stop here with a path that connects you right there. So you can just walk back and forth right there, and that's very very nice so if we come back down here it looks like all our trams are out going through the city isn't that so lovely all right so let's go ahead and take a look at one of our trams 20 out of 90 we can probably adjust some of these routes so we go to transport routes right here go over to our trams and we take a look. So it looks like people are starting to line up at some of the stops. So I'll just turn this down to four for now. We'll see how that goes. Ooh, this one looks pretty busy. We'll keep that at six, see how that goes. Yeah, that should be fine. Uh, we'll turn this one down to three. Doesn't look that busy. This one also does not look that busy. This one does not look that busy. Uh, that one does not need that many. Let's turn it down to four. This one seems very busy. So we'll leave it as is and see how that flows. All right, so that's nice. Have we gotten our first bus in yet? Oh yeah, look at that. There goes the bus now. And it looks like a lot of these people are just taking the bus to take another bus. Let's see. Yeah, they're leaving the city. Leaving the city. Where are these people going? Oh, look at this. Oh. Let's go ahead and take a look at one of these people. This is a dog. I wonder who he's following. Or she. I wonder who this dog is following. Probably this person here. Albert Peters, who is a trainee at the Orr Corporation, and they live at the Sunset Residence, which is all the way over here. So I think they're going to take a tram over here. They are. Look at that. Isn't that lovely? They're going to take a tram right home. How convenient for them. 
and look at all these people walking around so beautiful love to see it people lining up to use the trams beautiful love to see it we've got more need for people so let's go ahead and put down some more residential and fill this space up yeah, i really like the look of these these buildings and like i said they use a little bit less water and a little bit less power than the standard high density residential areas all right very nice very nice so something that i wanted to do in the last episode or something that i talked about doing in the last episode that i want to do in this episode is set up some farming so let's go ahead and let's actually put down a medium industry road and bring it up this way up through the center-ish of this farming area. That's nice right there. Let's turn on all these snapping options. All right, and what we're gonna do is we're gonna paint down a district over this area. Just like that. And we're going to set it as farming industry so any zoned buildings in this area will be farms so let's go ahead and set up our roads be good enough for now and that'll keep them off this and that'll keep them off some of the side roads so it'll keep the traffic because uh, the industry area will probably produce a pretty good amount of traffic probably not too much because I'm just gonna do the zonable areas for now but it will probably produce a little bit of traffic so let's go ahead and put down some industry. I will need some things over here though, like a medical center just so they stay healthy, police department, so that way they stay safe or that way the crime rate stays low. Fire department, so that way the fire safety is high. And then we'll just go ahead and connect that up to that, like that. And now they've got power and everything, so we'll just let them build. And then what we'll do is we'll change this to, let's see, where is it? local and organic produce. And then all these buildings are going to disappear and then they're going to reappear as local and organic produce, which will be supplied from these farming industry buildings. So we just let them build. Alright, and while we're waiting for that, something that I wanted to do was I want to rebuild this highway connection over here because this is the one that's kind of uh, built in standard from the game. So I want to change it up so that way it actually works for our city a little bit better.
There we go. And now that should work a little bit better for our city while pretty much being exactly the same. All right, so let's go ahead and take a look. See how many people are using our public transportation. 646 citizens per week in total, 557 for our trams. Isn't that nice? This stop looks full, and look at that, how nice. They all got picked up. Very, very nice. Our traffic is looking nice at 94%. This road looks pretty busy, but as long as the traffic is a flowing, everything is good a going. All right, let's take a look at our farm and see how that's doing. Dale Park. So we've got 429, oh, 438. Nine out of 720 workers. And the workers keep on jumping up as more people move into the city and as there's more people to work there. Very nice. Put some more of these stores along this road. Very nice. Bring this area up here. And then we'll also make the farming industry area or this, uh, this district. We'll also make this a local and organic produce area because that just makes sense you farm there you might as well sell some goods there all right and we've got buses coming and going through the city and i keep forgetting to turn off these traffic lights oh that's good though and this is flowing quite nicely very nice indeed. All right, so something that I wanna do, since we're probably gonna start getting some heavier traffic flow soon, is if we make some of these sections into these six lane roads, we get these dedicated turning lanes like that. As you can see, it's two lanes go straight and one turns off. Two lanes go straight and one turns off. Very nice. So if we do that on just some of the sections, we'll keep that going. But if we did that on every section, we wouldn't have those dedicated turning lanes. And that should be plenty fine for now because I just wanted to put that down and show you guys what that was like. And then we did get a comment in the first video to rename our industry area since this is a very pollution heavy area we're gonna go ahead and rename this to our viewer suggestion poo poo land there we go since that is our very industrial very poop heavy kind of land very nice very nice very poop all right oh these folks need water since I totally forgot to put that down. I apologize, everybody. But it looks like we're also going to need some more uh, water being pumped. So let's go ahead and put down another water pump. That looks like a good spot for that. And then we're going to need another inland water treatment plant. So let's go ahead and put that down over in Poo Poo Land because that just seems appropriate, doesn't it? And there we go, the poo goes into poo poo land. Very nice, very nice. Let's see. You know what? Through here, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna upgrade these roads, all of them to their equivalent of bicycle lanes, because I don't want anybody parking on these main roads. So let's go ahead and do that. And that should be good enough and that turns off parking on all of these main roads because now you just have these bicycle lanes instead and people will actually park in the businesses like you see here 
or they'll park on the side roads, which I like better than them parking on the roads. And the reason why I didn't do the bridge is because if you upgrade the bridge, it changes the style. And I don't want to do that because I like this style of bridge. And people won't park on the bridge anyways, so it's a win-win kind of situation. People walking across here, which is nice trams going across and this is only for trams and pedestrians no cars can drive over here which is very nice so it keeps the uh, traffic low through there let's take another look at our traffic 94 percent we saw a dip for a little bit when we rebuilt some stuff but now we are looking very very nice i think this might be a traffic light yep silly me and then another thing that i want to do is let's upgrade this to, whoopsie, let's change the direction on that as well. Keep pressing all the wrong buttons. There we go, get our dedicated turning lanes with our asymmetrical road. Very nice, very nice people running through the city. Let's see where some of these people are going. This person just hopped in a car. Where are you going? They are driving home. Earl Webb is driving to the Hawthorne residence. So he's coming just over here. Aw, why wouldn't you take the, the tram? There's a tram stop nearby. Maybe the tram stop wasn't close enough for him. So what we'll do is we'll set a stop kind of like halfway over there. Like that. Maybe that'll make him happy. So that way more people will come through here because I want people taking the trams. I like the trams. I think they're very fun and we've got a lot more need for residential that I just now noticed. So let's go ahead and keep extending this area. And we put some paths down to make sure that everybody can walk places pretty easily. Alright, so we are getting way more people in, which is just fine, fine and dandy. Very nice. And we are really making that money now as we're getting that public transportation and we're getting that farming. These guys need some power. So let's go ahead and just put a one of those down and a one of these down. That should satisfy their needs because we're producing plenty of power. I just think that the, uh, the power lines don't always transmit that power the best. So let's put down the solar updraft tower because that puts out 240 megawatts. That's pretty good. Very nice, very, very nice. All right, and after that, I think we can turn down our electricity budget back down to a hundred percent should be fine on that let's go over to taxes and let's turn everything up to 12 percent because 12 percent is the highest tax that you can charge your people without them starting to complain about it and i'm just going to pay these taxes off or they pay my loans off really quickly never mind I'm just going to take those back out again really quickly because apparently that cost a lot of money to pay those off. I didn't realize how much debt I was in. My goodness. Oh, well, we've got a fire going on over here, which reminds me, these people are going to need all sorts of services that I've been neglecting. And since we have the money, let's put down some fun stuff. So let's put down this elder care facility right here. Here, which will make these folks nice and happy. 
and let's put down this hospital somewhere nice. Hmm, where do I want this hospital is the question. Let's put it right there. Perfect. Alright, that'll make people nice and happy. Alright, let me get that money in. Should be, yep, already taken care of. Very nice, very quick to respond. And then I'll put a fire station down when I can afford it, which is not quite yet. I'll put one of these down because they're cheap and they kind of supplement the fire uh, stations a little bit. So this is the fire watch tower and it's really good for like these foresty areas that cuts down on your likelihood of having a forest fire if you have uh, like the, the random natural disaster events going, which I usually don't because though I do like a challenge I don't like my city to be completely wiped out in the middle of playing. So usually I keep that off. Let's put some more of this down over here. Make sure that this is farming stuff because I want to use up all of that farming zone that we have. We've still got a lot of need for people so let's go ahead and get them in. And then something that I do usually around this point is I start getting rid of these gross, nasty, bog standard industry areas that create all this pollution in favor of my farming area. Just because the farming area puts out noise pollution, but it does not put out uh, ground pollution, the regular ground pollution. So I think it's a lot nicer for that, so I put down a lot of farming industry in my cities, usually, if it's available. If, there, if, the, if the resource is there, I like to put it down. Very nice, very nice another fire over here so let's just put one of these down right there I think that's a nice little spot for that very nice very cozy comfy very nice all right I can bring this residential area out a little bit because as you can see uh, this yellowy grassy area that's all farming resource and this hasn't any of that available. So I'll just go ahead and extend this out a little bit. Put some more low density housing over here. Let's make sure that people have parks so that they're happy. Wow, these people have no parks because I neglected them very, very badly. I am very, very sorry, people. Uh, so something that I'm going to do to fix that is I'm going to upgrade this tram track into a regular road up until it meets this roundabout. Just like that. Sorry for that, but such things are needed. Sometimes, anyways. And then we're going to put down another park area right here. And then that should be nice. Hopefully get some entertainment going for these people. So that way they're not so bored. Alright, very nice. 
and that should be all connected up with power. So we put the water down, and that should be perfect. And now they'll have a little park over here that will level up over time, which reminds me to check this park, which has leveled up and is about to level up again, as long as we put down some stuff to increase that entertainment score. So we can't put down any of those piers, so we slap down a bunch of gazebos. And we just unlocked Small City. So we're just breaking out of the town and hitting that city. So we unlocked train station. So now we have access to train stuff. Uh, in the next unlock at 17,000, we get another new area, some more stuff. But in this one, we get some more unique buildings, train, monorail, all this lovely stuff. Looks like we got cable cars, very nice. Cable cars are very fun. We might put down one of those right now that bridges across the river. So let's go ahead and take a look at that. Ooh, Metro Inner City Bus Hub. Hmm, I don't have a metro down, but maybe we'll put one down eventually. Whoopsie. Okay, so let's take a look at the cable cars. Ah, uh, they're complaining of noise pollution because of the cable car, because I forgot to take into consideration the amount of noise that that would put out. So maybe putting a cable car there was a bad idea. Ah, uh, that's okay. So instead, what I'll do... Sorry, everybody. Is instead of doing that... I will instead just put down a walking path. Very nice. And that should instantly cure their sickness. So like I said, you want to keep that noise pollution away from people because they'll get sick. And uh, yeah, you don't really want to deal with that. Not fun. So we've got some more money. Let's go ahead and put down another elder care facility over here, maybe. Yeah, why not? It's got a pretty big radius, so it'll cover this whole area. Actually, let's put it more central, right in here. Sorry to everybody whose house I'm going to destroy doing this it is necessary. Oh, looks like we have a historical house in there. How sad that we have to destroy it. Sorry. And let's put down a child care facility near it. Just like that. Alright. Let's put another one over here. Okay. And that'll boost the health of our citizens. And we'll probably put down another one of these. So that way our death care is taken care of. Uh, we'll just put it... No, it would be kind of weird to put it in the farming area, I think. Kind of weird to have two of them really close to each other. So let's just put it over here. Why not? It doesn't seem too bad of a placement, I don't think. Very nice. Let's go ahead and take a look at our parks. Hmm. So these people would like a park. Let's put down something easy, like this cat park, because it's got a high entertainment score. There we go. Very nice. And as you put down these parks, people will become happy and the happier they are, the quicker they'll level up. And they'll level up as they go th through schools and stuff like that too. And as they level up, they'll pay more in taxes, which is very nice. I'm gonna put down this faculty over here in this area. And this is a little kind of, just a very small college kind of thing. Has a very small capacity. 
because what I'm going to do is eventually I'm going to put down a campus area. So I want to keep sure or I want to make sure that my citizens are uneducated until then because that'll keep the need for this area high. And then when I put it down, it'll attract a bunch of students, which is exactly what I want. So let's set that up so they get a bunch of waterfront property. That'll be nice. Oh yeah, this will be beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. Wow, really got a lot of need for residential. A lot of people want to move into our beautiful new city, especially now that we've got our public transportation set up and people just keep coming in. Look at all these people. Isn't that nice? And we're taking care of them very quickly as they're very easily able to get around the city thanks to the public transportation that we set up. Isn't that nice? How lovely. And we'll go ahead and put down some more of this high density commercial zone in our local and organic produce area so that we, we can sell more of our farmed goods and make more money. And if we go into our import export panel, so we're still importing a little bit of farming good and we're importing ore, which doesn't really make sense considering that they are on top of ore, but hey, you know, that's okay. exporting more than we're importing so that's what really matters oh look at that let's see which park is this that's this one over here it's level up to park level four very nice perfect so let's go ahead and put down this climbing frame for some more entertainment just like that perfect and that fits very nicely along in there and then we're gonna do some nice little detail work put some trees down and make it look pretty Very nice, very nice. Just beautify that spot up. And then we'll probably do the same over here. Oh, these folks are suffering from pollution sickness. So we're gonna move this recycling plant up here. Very nice. Let's get that out of there. Sorry for that. And then what I'll do, just to take care of this guy right here, We'll put down a little clinic right there. So that way an ambulance will go out and immediately just go ahead and take care of that guy as the pollution slowly leaves that spot. And then what we're gonna do is we're gonna put down a waste disposal unit over here, slope to steep. So we'll go ahead and take out our tool. And let's go ahead and see if we can flatten this area out a little bit oh wow so let's go ahead and pause the game take out that road put it back down and let's see if that was good enough perfect and that should give us a big boost to our trash output it does very nice indeed and then another good thing that the recycling plant does is it'll take the trash and it'll turn it into uh, resources so it'll turn it into like uh, plastic products sometimes so that's pretty nice metal products and stuff like that sorry again about the pollution I hope uh, an ambulance comes to take care of you soon. I'm not sure where one will be coming from, but yeah, I'm not gonna worry about him too much because, well, we already took care of it. So what we need to take care of though is this pesky, pesky residential knee and there's just so much of it. All right, 
So that should take care of that residential need for a moment at least. Let's make sure that, again, we're zoning everything the way that we want it to. Make sure that that's all taken care of. It is taking a long time for an ambulance to come out and take care of this guy. Oh no, he's very sick now. Where's that darn ambulance? Or something. I mean, what can I do? There's nothing I can do except... Oh, did he die? I think he might have died. He or she may have just died in that moment. Oh no. Well, uh, we're just gonna ignore that entirely and look at some other stuff. So our farming area, look at that. Very beautiful, We've, we're producing a ton of food. Let's take a look at that. We are no longer importing any foodstuffs, but we are exporting plenty of foodstuffs. Very nice, very nice. So we'll have to make, we'll have to make use of more of this resource area in the next episode. Oh no, we've got another fire going on here, but our blue fire truck is already on the scene. Very nice, very quick, very nice. All right, looks like we are satisfying a lot of our needs right now. Very nice, very nice. All right, so in this episode, we expanded our residential area, including putting down our first high density area. We also set up our public transportation network for the city, which so far consists of trams all across the city. Look at all those routes, very nice. Almost a thousand people using our public transportation network, uh, 800 people 800 citizens using our tram network every week. Very nice, very nice. We're making a decent amount of profit right now, $8,000 a week, which is all right for this population that we're at right now. Poo Poo Land, our new industrial area. Well, it's our old industrial area, just rebranded. We also set up our new farming industry area, which provides the food to our local and organic produce commercial area, which is also new. Very nice, very nice. And we are getting so much residential need that I'm gonna have to end up building a whole new residential area because we are filling it up so fast, but that is something that I'm gonna have to take care of in the next episode. So if you guys enjoyed what you saw in this episode, go ahead and hit that like button, subscribe for more, and make sure that you're following along for this city. This is the third episode of Lake Valley so far, and we are making it so beautiful. Look at this. So this is our new public transportation hub area over here. Trams and buses is what we got so far. And in the next episode, we're gonna look at more industry area, including the actual industries area. We're going to go ahead and take a look at that. And we're also going to take a look at the post office in the next episode, since that is something that we unlocked. And that is super fun. Uh, I'll go ahead and explain it, like I said, in the next episode. Again, if you guys are enjoying this series, hit that like button. Make sure that you're caught up with all the episodes that have come out so far, because this is going to be a great city once we're said and done with it. We're gonna have to do some detailing work, which I might do off camera. We did some detailing work to this part down here and it is looking beautiful. So I hope you guys are enjoying this series so far. Hope you guys are loving this city and I'll catch you guys in the next episode.